So now we are going to go into Photoshop and actually save this image. And again, to save a photograph as a JPEG, we cannot have layers within a photograph. Uh, JPEGs do not have layers in them. So we first of all, before we save this photograph, we need to go up under File and or up in our menu under Layer and we need to flatten image. And watch when I select this, if you look at that layers panel on the right part of the screen here, when I select flatten image, those layers will disappear. Like that. Now I'm actually gonna undo that because I wanna first save this photograph with those layers intact. The reason I want to do that is at a later time, if I want to come back to this image and revisit the adjustments and maybe tweak it a little bit more or, um, you know, simply uh, change something in the photograph, I want to have these layers intact. So what we do is we save this as what's known as a master file. So I'm going to go under file save as and then for just simplicity purpose here I'm gonna put this on my desktop and I'm gonna save it as and here's the key we're gonna save it as a Photoshop file so in this pull down here you'll notice there's a whole bunch of different choices we'll save it as a Photoshop file now if you try to save it as a JPEG you're gonna see as must be saved as a copy. That's telling you that you've got layers in there and that you need to either flatten those layers or do something because they'll be lost when you save it as a JPEG in this uh, format. So of course, we're going to save it as a Photoshop document. And then the one other change I'm gonna make up here is I'm going to add master to the title of this file. So I know this is a working master and this is a file that I have worked on and I've made adjustments as layers in it. So if I need to go back to this image and modify it, I can actually go into that uh, file and it'll be easy to find because it has master on the end of it. So I'm going to hit save on that. I am going to uh, maximize my compatibility. You can check don't show again if you like. Hit OK. And it'll take a second or two to write it because it will be a pretty big file. And then we are going to once again go in and flatten that image. And now you can see all of our layers have been squeezed together. So basically Photoshop has pushed all those, all those visible layers together and we are seeing the combined version of that photograph. At this point now we can do a file save as and we can put it as a JPEG. And I'm going to do one other thing here. JPEGs are only 8 bits per channel, not 16 bits. So I'm going to change that also. Do a save as JPEG. And now you notice that it doesn't come up as a copy. And then what I'm going to do is uh, you can get rid of that master if you want. Or you can do something like this. I usually save my JPEGs as V2s standing for version twos and hit save and then we want to obviously make the maximum file size that we can hit OK and there you have it saving a file with layers in it as a JPEG